Brett Camp Family Compound in Idaho. I got another emergency prep hack for you. Stick around, check it out. This one's kind of cool. Okay, so what is this little preparedness sack I got for you? It's a mason jar lantern. Oil lamp. Cool. No, hardly any smoke at all. Alright, so let's check this out. Okay, so what do we need to do this? Well, let's look down here. This is everything we got here. We need a mason jar. Uh, the type lid doesn't matter. I'm using one that has that quarter inch, uh, a quarter inch quarter turn bayonet style. It is a mason jar, but it's the type they use spaghetti sauce in. Uh, the lid has the rubber on it, rubber on it here still, so it's still good. So this is a uh, type jar I'm gonna use. I also have a bigger spaghetti jar, same type thing set up. Going to need a T-nut, quarter inch. A T-nut, for those who don't know about it, is using woodworking. Um, see how this uh, little divots here are? They, what they do is they punch up and bend over a four little prongs on it. So in woodworking, they drill a hole, they stick this in there, cinch it down, tap it in, and then put the bolt through from the other side, and it cinches down tight and holds the wood together. So you'll need one of those for each one. A couple drill bits here. I like using um, a pilot drill before I use my... Uh, fine step drill. Uh, this is not a quarter, this thing you see is a bunch of little steps. I want to use this one on this one because otherwise you'll go right through the lid. Uh, what works best for the quarter inch T-nut is the um, 730 uh, seconds cotton, repeat, cotton clothesline, cotton clothesline. I get this today's hardware. A pair of scissors, Need those pliers, hammer, punch, a board that has a 5 16 hole drilled into it. You'll see why later. And then I use, uh, get a piece of uh, steel here to uh, help set the uh, T-nut. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to head over and we're going to drill the hole over the vise. Alright, let's head on over there. Okay, so I'm going to just I'm gonna go ahead and set this in... I say just get it snug and I don't want to cinch it down tight because I'll crush the uh, the th thread part of it here. So I put this in the center. Okay, there's my pilot hole. Now I'm going to put the step bit in here. which one I'm on here. All right, I'm going to run over, grab one of the T-nuts, and check the size out. All right, see if that T-nut fits in there. Ooh, just perfect. Good, I stopped just in time. So, T-nut goes in there. Let's take this back over to the table, and we will work some more over there. Okay, so the next thing I do is I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the uh, lid and the T-net put together. So I can set it inside, but I don't want to try just push it on with my fingers because if it, assuming it pops through the metal, it might just stab myself. So that's what I got this other setup here for. So I take the big chunk of uh, steel, which in this case happens to be a uh, three-quarter by, or half-inch by three-quarter inch, um, adapter for an impact, put that on top, take the, the wooden uh, stick, dowel, whatever, it has the 5 16 hole on it, set it right on top of the uh, T-nut there, 
So I drove it down flush and flat here. So there's no gaps there. So now I have this with the little, those little barbs sticking up. So I take my needle nose pliers, give it a quick bend over a little bit. I'm not trying to bend it flat yet. I'm just trying to bend it over an angle just a little bit to hold it in place. Okay, there. Now that these are bent over a little bit, I'm going to come back over here, take my punch, and just push it down over so it is held on snug and tight. And once I have it pushed over, I'm going to give it a little extra tap to seat it. So there's nothing sticking up that'll come back to bite me later. All right. So, bent over, seated, nice and tight. Nothing to uh, tear me up later. All righty. Um, I have another one I started, I'm just going to go ahead and get it bent over real quick here. Pliers. Bent over real quick like. Make sure that's over far enough. There we go. Push that down. Okay, another one done. Now, cotton. So for the small jar, I want enough to fill down in, stick a little bit up, a couple of spools like that. So I take that, quick cut. And I take the end, make sure it's held nice and tight still after the cutting. Put it in the hole and just kind of thread it through. Sometimes it's a little difficult getting in there, but once you get the outer portion up, pull it up. Pull the cotton back up because this outer sleeve likes to pull down a little bit. You pull it down so you have just a little bit sticking up, about a uh, eighth of an inch is all. And yeah, you, you just later on you just push it up higher when you need to. All right, put this down into the uh, jar here. Now I need to do is add oil to it. Let's get the other one done too. This one's going to take a longer piece since it's a uh, taller jar. Turn around so you can see it right. Once again, just put it into the uh, Screw it right on in there. Sometimes it doesn't like to cooperate. It's a little more. The outer sleeve doesn't want to come up. There, it's starting to come up. 
As you can see, the outer sleeve is down a little bit low. I just keep threading it until it gets up there high enough because it's bunching up in there so it's tight. Once I get it in there, I can just pull it right on back up here and bring it down so that it's at the right height. And then feed it down into the jar. Okay, I'll go ahead and add the oil to these and we'll test them out. Well, that's something I was uh, thinking about doing, but I just got in a hurry here and I forgot. I was going to, on the little one, I was going to put diesel fuel in there so you can see what diesel fuel, you know, number two diesel fuel or number one diesel fuel, how it burns. Uh, but we've already seen that in a previous uh, uh, video where I did the uh, oil lamp. The oil lamp, we're using diesel fuel to run the oil lamp. So, go back. And check that other other video out. I'll put the link to it in the description down below. But let's see how this works. So we'll uh, go ahead and light those off. Now you notice there is a bit of smoke coming off it here at the beginning, and that's as the uh, the cotton and the oil burn down to get it to the to its proper uh, height. Also as it waits to heat up the uh, the T-nut that's sticking up here. When the T-nut finally gets hot, the smoking will go away because basically what that does, that hot T-nut, it helps the uh, oil to vaporize as it comes up the wick so you don't get as much smoke. Because you notice this one here doesn't have uh, nearly the amount of smoke. And what I may wind up doing, let's see what we've got here in height wise. Yeah, let me do it this way. I can also just adjust this down a little bit right now a lot of it is the edge of that uh, the edges of the cotton there it's burning too so you're getting smoke from the cotton as well until it finally burns down to a proper stubble and burns like that. Now, these are are not massive light producing little oil lamps. They are a little bit of light to dispel the darkness. And that's why you have several of these around the room to uh, lighten up the room. Uh, back in biblical days, they would have several lamps in the room to give light to the room. You see this one here has already started to uh, stop smoking. It's dropped down. And this one's, uh, as it burns down and heats up the thing, it's uh, putting out less smoke as well. So, there you have it. I, another neat little uh, uh, oil lamp using vegetable oil. Now, it will burn cleaner if you use olive oil, and it'll burn hotter as well, so it'll provide a little bit more uh, heat. But it will burn cleaner with olive oil. And if you use uh, diesel fuel or kerosene, it'll burn even clearer. And you can also just go ahead and get the um, the, the guaranteed smokeless, um, odorless lamp oils and fill it with the lamp oils as well. But this is for emergencies when you're out of lamp oil and you're able to produce vegetable oil or trade for it. This is a, a way to get light in your uh, home 
when there's uh, when it's the uh, end of the world as we know it, and there's uh, no more power grid. Alrighty. So as always, stay happy, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and check out the uh, little clip here following up here on my thousand subscriber giveaway. Alrighty. Bye.